Right, me again. I don't know if you can hear me properly. The generator is on, so uh, I'm going to do a quick generator video now. Um, as you can see, we switched over to our generator power, and uh, the whole shed is now running off the generator. Uh, there's our voltage. We'll probably pull in about an amp, maybe two, maybe even three. Let's have a look at what we're pulling. Uh, well, nearly an amp. And uh, we'll put in seven, maybe seven and a half amps of battery charger. So, yeah, that's not too bad. The ba it has a built in battery charger, the generator, so that keeps us topped up. And also, I run this charger as well to charge the batteries as well. Um, there's not many 12 volt loads on, really. So, the 12 volt chargers, you know, it's uh, dropping down pretty quick. Now, um, it is a, it's a cloudy day. It wouldn't really say sunny. It was sunny earlier. It's probably going to make a liar off me now anyway, so, so let's just carry on. So yeah, um, I've tidied up. Um, I've kind of abandoned the tile mission to tile the floor, so I uh, got a bit distracted with the generator. As you can see, there's our voltage. That tells me the batteries are pretty much full. Pretty full. So even though we are putting in 7 amps, we are full. And we are pulling. Let's just get that focused on there, as you see. Is that about 2.5 amps? Maybe three, yeah, two and a half, three amps. Uh, yeah, we run purely off the generator now. Uh, voltage is quite stable ish. See, 230 volts, so that's quite a good supply. That's quite handy. Ventilation's uh, going. Nice to seal up the wall, so you can't really hear it. I don't know if you can hear the generator on this. Uh, it, it's not really noisy, but I wouldn't really say it's quiet either. I mean, I don't really think you can get a generator that's quiet, really. There's no such thing. I mean, unless you pay a, buy a Honda and pay for a Honda. I mean, yeah, they're, they're quiet. Anything that has an engine is never quiet. So, yeah. Um, if this is packed up, again, uh, partly to do with my fault, I, I kind of overload them all the time. So, uh, it's over there, burn health. So, uh, I'm gonna, that is a pure sine wave, but I think I might just get myself a little modified sine wave inverter just to be uh, going on with it. I can get a 2000 watt uh, modified, and you know, it'll run everything pretty much the same. I mean, besides from your computers or um, fluorescent lights, things like that. I mean, you do run them, but it's not really good for the equipment. But I've always got my generator anyway if I need some clean electricity, so I'm not really bothered. Um, anyway, back to the uh, grime, I should say. Um, I was planning on having the start stop control system from here. Um, can't do it. Well, I could have done it, but the engine will not start without the choke. So, and it won't start with the choke on. So, if I leave the choke full on and just start the engine, it will not start. So, I have to manually operate the choke from the generator. So, that's a bit of a pain. So, I can't have a, a control where I, stop. I could probably stop it from here, but I couldn't start it. So, that's any downside. Unless I can get some kind of mechanical lever that moves the, uh, the choke, but that's too, it's too uh, advanced. So, I suppose it's keep it... I don't want to complicate the system. You know, it's just the back really. It is a 3.2 kilowatt generator with the built-in battery charger. Um, I saw the power today. Uh, battery, as you can see, was at 0.2 an amp, so it's not sunny at all. Not really. Uh, generator, it said 230, yeah. Battery voltage, 14.2. That tells me the battery is, you know, full, very full. And um, it runs this charge. This is a, a main power charger. And then we've got our little voltmeter where it tells me the voltage. You don't even know if you can see that properly. Oh, you can now. See, you see about 230, yeah. Excellent. I've put a little block of wood over here. I'm going to get another battery charger. Uh, identical. So I'll have about... I've got 10 amps off the battery charger on the generator. I've got 7 amps off this, even though it says 67. And I get another one of them, so I'll have about 14 and then 10. So about 24 amps in total charging capacity. So that's pretty good, you know, that's about 300-ish 300, 300 watts. Maybe 280, 300. Uh, I'm not a math anyway. Uh, yeah, so yeah, as I said before, still got our solar power growing. Generator's running. Um, if I put some loads on, like outdoor lights, you can see that 
the chargers take over and we're pulling, you know, about 14 and a half amps. Or, I mean, we're charging 14 and a half amps. We're actually pulling uh, 15 amps, bang on 15 amps from there. So there we have it. Just turn them off. Uh, yeah, so I think it's all working. Batteries are charged, like I said before. Uh, it's a three phase generator. There we have it. And I'll show you some bits of it. Thank you.